Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. I'm super excited to bring you this video. This is a much anticipated tutorial series on how to use the Photon Chat plugin. Now there's going to be two versions of this tutorial series. The first version is going to be available for free on YouTube. And in this version, I'm going to be going over the concepts behind using the Photon Chat system, but we'll only briefly examine the code that makes it work. The second version will only be available to those that our supporters on our website. In this version, we'll go over the concepts of the Photon Chat system, but we'll also go through the code I have created line for line. If you're a supporter on our website, you'll also gain access to all of the source code for this tutorial series, as well as free access to a downloadable version of our Unity package. So if that sounds like a good deal to you, then go to our website at www.infogamerhub.com and sign up to become a supporter at $3 a month. Now that I've explained explained all that, I'd like to show you our working demo for the Photon Chat system. Alright, so here I have my Photon Chat project open inside of Unity and I've built it out to a standalone executable. Now the Photon Chat system requires a username for each player. And so in the standalone, I'm going to type my gamer tag, which is bitops and I'm going to click join chat. You'll see that the input field disappears and it's replaced by a few other UI elements. Then if I go over to my Unity editor and I click play, I can then type in a username for this client. And so I'm just going to type in Nathan and click join. All right, so here you can see that we've come to the same point in both the Unity editor and the standalone. I can then go ahead and send a chat message using the bottom input field of the standalone. And so I'm going to type hello world and click send. You can then see that this message was posted in both the standalone and the Unity editor. And now I'll go to the Unity editor and type a response. And so I'll type hello, how are you? And there you can see that it pops up in both the Unity editor and the standalone. Now these messages that I've sent are public messages that can be seen by anyone that logs in to this chat room and region. But I also have one more feature that I've implemented into my chat system. To demonstrate this, I'm going to run another instance of my standalone. For this standalone, I'm going to add the username InfoGamer and click join. You'll notice that it doesn't show any of the previous chats from the other clients but I can send another public message, which will then show up on all the clients. Now this other feature that I've mentioned is for sending private messages to a specific person. And that's what this other input field is for. So in my new standalone, if I type the name BitOps, and then in the chat field, I type a message, something like, hello, BitOps and click send, you'll notice that this message is only displayed for the client that sent it and the client that received it. And this message is also tagged with the word private in front. And that's our demo on how to use the Photon Chat system. The Unity package of this that you can find on our website is set up similar to our matchmaking add-on where everything is contained within this one prefab which makes it easy to add this to any game. All you have to do is drag and drop this one object into your hierarchy. Now that's everything that we're going to go over in this video. Make sure that you check out the next video where we'll start getting into the how-to for this demo. And remember, we have those two versions of this series. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.